Hello Aquarians and happy birthday to all my Aquarius followers and friends. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start off as always. We're going to do uh, the main spread with the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, which is my own creation, followed by a, uh, a, beast, a card, one bonus card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. And then if you are a Patreon subscriber at the level two, there's going to be an additional bonus card of the Angels Ancestors Oracle Cards by Lily Moses. So this is a really cool deck. I just got it for Christmas and I really like it. Uh, so if you are a Patreon subscriber, not only do you get to view the readings early, but you get to have access to all 12 bonus cards every month for free. Okay. All right, so what is in store for our Aquarian friends for the month of February? Oh, look at that. Solar return. And there's the sun card. Cool. Solar return. And what else? What else is happening for our Aquarian friends in the month of February for Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, there we go. Well, it's so cool that the sun card did come out as the first card because that's you. That's your solar return. Every year at this time of the year, it's your solar return. And it's your most powerful time for manifesting anything you want. Forget about January 1st and New Year's resolutions. This is the time. If you want the power of the universe and the solar system behind you in manifesting new things in your life, then this is the time to do it. Um, especially on your uh, birthday itself, that's the most powerful time, but also on the your annual new moon, which is occurring on February 4th of 2019. So you'll be having your annual new moon. This looks a little askew, doesn't it? Let me see if I can fix I just happen to look up at the camera. See if I can fix that. How's that? A little better, huh? Yeah, so this is, well, actually, no. <laughs> there, that's the best. It's just up a little, kind of like that. Yeah, so this is that time of year. It's always, in, the Wheel of Fortune is in your spread, too. It's a time of manifesting great fortune. It's also, the Wheel of Fortune also talks about the cycles, how things go up and down and up and down. So when it hits your new moon on February 4th or your birthday, you should be in and absolutely be in an upward cycle. The Sun card, beyond just talking about your solar return, is one of the best cards in the deck, as is Wheel of Fortune. I mean, you've got two major nice cards here. I was, when this comes up, I always say, I didn't put Wheel of Fortune on my cover of my deck for no reason. <laughs> it's because it's a powerful, uh, positive card. The Sun talks about how you're just radiating, you're just glowing, you're just emanating all this uh, positive chi and beautiful vibrations at this time, and that's because of that solar return. But people are drawn to it. People see that, or feel it, or sense it, and want to be near you. They want to come and be near you. There's a Queen of Cups who's somebody very favorable. Could be a water sign who's a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, gender doesn't relate in these readings because it just could be anybody. The other thing is, though, we are going to move into the sign of Pisces. The sun will enter Pisces on the 18th of the month. So it might be on the 18th or beyond. You know, I just noticed that this has 19 on it. Might be the 19th. Well, also on the 19th, since the 19th did pop at me, that's our full moon uh, in Virgo. Excuse me a second. So right around that 18th, 19th, <clears throat> That could be an important time frame of you. It looks like you're kind of leery of her at first for some reason. Like you're on, you're a little bit leery, you're a little bit on guard. But she is a, he or she is a positive person. They are in the upright position. There's no need to, um, no need for to be a concern. It's a favorable person. Um, as we move down, we've got the star here too. So. This is very much on, you know, in the 3D reality. The sun is our source of energy on the 3D earth. And then this is up in the ethers. This is our spirit guides, our angels, spirit force coming through, talking to us. For many of you, I feel this is a specific person who may have died of a heart attack or something like that and has moved on over the Rainbow Bridge. And um, 
that they're around you, that they're just coming through and telling, saying, hey, we're here, we're around you. Or you feel a lot of heartbreak over them leaving the earth plane, um, but they're around. They've, they're watching over you, they're helping you. They're trying to uh, add things to enhance your life and help you along your path. Um, it's a time to move on. You know, it's definitely a time of moving on from this pain and suffering. I think it's all. It could be both that it's you moving on from the pain and suffering that you felt from this person leaving. Um, and then also, um, I feel like it's um, them moving on, like them happily moving on from whatever pain and suffering that they were experiencing on the earth plane. Okay, Wheel of Fortune is here, so that is so it's a great card. Wheel of Fortune is fate and destiny. Things really moving around, turning in your favor. Timing, timing clicking, things just clicking into place, timing being right, everything lining up, click, click, click. Um, and another person is introduced at this time. King of showing us the King of Rods. So if Rods are fire people, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, possibly coming in on a fire um, but we're not going to be in fire this month, and we don't have a newer full moon in fire either. Um, but the, let's talk about the energy of the king. The king is somebody who's further along on their path. They're, even though fire energy can sometimes be really youthful or even childish, this is not that way. This is um, uh, more mature. They they know how to wield their power is what I'm hearing. Um, you're going to be... It's, it's a faded meeting brought about through spirit guides and angels have set this up and have made this happen for you. And then the two of rods is here and it's talking about you guys are going to be together on some level. If it's a love relationship, very well could be. Could be a love relationship. Could be more of a work relationship, friendship, partnership. The two of rods is, even if it's a love relationship, the two of rods is a great foundation to have for any type of relationship because it talks about the two of you seeing the, seeing the world in the same way, heading in the same direction, uh, having a shared path or vision of life, vision path, you know. Because a lot of times you, you meet people and it's all cool, but you're going in this direction, they're going in that direction. So here you're, you're aligned, you're going in the same direction. It's very favorable. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our Animal Totem card from our Beast Mistress Oracle cards. This was also one of my decks. And this is, what is the animal totem card for our Aquarius friends for the month of February of 2019? The Wasp. Okay. Wasp says, Fearless warrior spirit of the sky. Shamanic healing and transformation. Stinging, attacking, and fighting the good fight. Impassioned action makes dreams come true. I think that's the impassioned action I absolutely can relate to this area down here. That's fire is impassioned, no doubt about it. So impassioned action makes dreams come true. Because the two of rods is only in the beginning phases. It's only you're looking you got the world in his hand, so it says it could really be something really big and great. But He's only, um, he's, it's only the very beginning part of this thing, of this journey for him. So it's not, uh, it's not fully manifested. It's going to take this fire energy, this impassioned action, for this to come to full manifestation. Uh, the uh, fearless warrior spirit, shamanic healing and transformation, I feel that has to do with this section here. Like, there's been a major transformation. I feel for a lot of you, it's an actual trans somebody's transition into spirit. You know, and... Um, but it's been, on a, on a soul level, it absolutely has been a healing. You know, it's been a healing thing for them. And they want you to know that. That's coming through really strong for a lot of you. I feel like they want you to know that they're better now. And that grief really stands out to me, that word grief. Also on these on these decks, if, if the words stand out to you, you know, read that because that could absolutely be a personal message just for you. Okay, Aquarius, so this is your reading. It's looking pretty sweet. If you're a Patreon subscriber, go ahead and tune in to Patreon. We're going to go ahead and pull another card, a bonus card from this deck, which I really like, the Angels and Ancestors uh, Oracle. 
Uh, so this is the reading. I want to wish you all a happy solar return, a happy birthday. This is such a powerful time. Your new moon, don't forget, is on February 4th for any kind of... You might want to light a candle or say a prayer or do a little something on that day to kind of put it out to the universe because they're listening. They're here and they're listening. I want to thank everybody for all your support through liking, sharing, commenting. Uh, by the way, February I will be opening up for the Equinox reading. It's a reading, it's a psychic reading, but I use the, your chart, but it's still a psychic reading. I look at your chart and the Equinox, and it's a predictive reading of what's coming up in the up, um, the upcoming season uh, ahead for you. So it's always really popular. I do them on the Equinoxes. That'll be coming up, available for a limited time. If you want to find more about that, you can hit up here in the Eye in the Sky, or there's links below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe for, if you don't can't find my videos, which people say all the time. <laughs> But, you know, people who are supposed to find me are going to find me. That's how, that's how we roll, right? Okay, so thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great birthday, a great solar return, and a great month of February. I'll speak to you soon.